Well, call it the Trump rally day two. It is early, very, very early. But all the naysayers and prognosticators who said a Trump win would send stocks down hard have been off the mark. Today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, supposedly a snapshot of the economy and home of some of the bluest of the blue chips, rocketed to a record close. But not everyone participated. We'll have more on that in just a moment. The Dow rose 218 points to 18,807, a record. The Nasdaq lost 42, and the S&P 500 rose 4. Bob Bazzani has more on the rally. What a week of trading. We went from rallying on Monday going into the election to down 800 points the night of the election to soaring to record heights just today. What's going on? There's a new trading mentality on Wall Street right now. Let's call it the reflation trade. Buy into sectors that will benefit from less regulation and more fiscal stimulus. That means spending. Infrastructure names like Martin Marietta Materials and Home Depot and bank stocks like J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs all hit new highs today. Now, on the other side of that trade, the downside, interest rate sensitive groups like telecom, real estate and utilities are being hit by concerns on higher interest rates. And big tech like Facebook, Apple and Amazon are down on trade concerns. So can this continue these trends? Well, sure they can, but we may be approaching a limit to how far banks and pharmaceuticals, for example, can go without very specific changes in the legislation. We need to see that. We need to hear more on the specifics of less regulation, more stimulus and tax reform and that may not happen until January. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.